Winston Edmonton here at Hadoop Summit. We've got Steve Woolidge from Teradata. He's going to talk to me a little bit about an exciting new announcement that you had with Hortonworks today. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so Teradata has been in the data management analytics space for over 30 years. And with the announcement today, we announced Teradata Portfolio for Hadoop, which is a collection of products, services, and customer support for an entire portfolio of Hadoop products. So we've got turnkey appliances, we've got commodity offerings, and with Hortonworks, we've got a shared customer support model so we can give our customers everything they need around Hadoop. Ultimate support, pretty exciting. Now this seems like it must have been a long process to put all this together. Well, we've had a partnership with Hortonworks for about a year. Uh, we've had Hadoop product offerings in the market for about six months. We've seen a lot of uptake from our customers. And it's really about broadening that to make sure that customers can buy Hadoop standalone, integrate it in with the rest of their data architecture, and make it a trusted component within that next generation data architecture. Tell me what excites you right now. With the customers that you're helping, uh, you're meeting their needs, where do you see things going? What, what trends are you following right now? The big thing we're seeing is customers, our customers want to better serve their customers. And there's so many new interaction points that they have with those customers through you know, social networks, email, and being able to take things like the call center voice records. But that's been data that hasn't really been explored in the past to figure out how to better serve those customers. So now with Hadoop and other MapReduce technologies, we can incorporate that analysis into how we better serve our customers, customers at the end of the day, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. so it's, Ultimately, it's about getting deeper insights into how to better service the customers, and I think with all the new data that's out there and the hype around big data, that's really what it's about. Do you find that customers are coming to you with their own ideas, or are they looking to you for suggestions on just how they can uh, bring these different data sets together and how they can uh, maximize and, and leverage some of this data? Well, the problem is there's so much hysteria in this market. I mean, it's an exciting place to be, but there's a lot of technologies, right? So I think the thing with Teradata is we do provide that trusted advisor status. I mean, we've been implementing data analytics solutions for a long, long time. And a lot of the problems aren't new. They're just incorporating new analytic techniques. So you know, they have ideas in terms of things they've heard about that they're not really sure how to implement it sometimes. So part of our offering is we have services. So we can look across their entire data architecture and figure out where does Hadoop really fit? What are the best use cases for it? How do we integrate that across the enterprise so the end users and the applications that can benefit from that data can really get the value from it? How important do you think it is, um, or, or how much of it is it an advantage that you are tried and true, you've been here? I mean, some of these solution providers, uh, you call them fly by night, I mean, they just, they're just here on, you know, um, they've just formed, they don't have a track record. Is your track record of success uh, one of the main uh, things that customers are attracted to? I think so. I mean, the, the reality is we have, we're like in the trenches with our customers. It's not just the technology, but I mean, we have business consulting people that come in with domain expertise from a given industry. So you can call it a track record or whatever it is, but it's really understanding not just technology, but the business and how these things come together to really you know, get the most value from all the cool technology that's out there. So. Yeah, but you know, a lot of the fly-by-nighters, I mean, there's a lot of innovative things that are happening, and Hadoop five years ago is one of those very new things, and so we've been looking at it for a while, and now we've figured out the best way to incorporate it into our solution portfolio and to roll it out to customers. When you're helping a customer and you're, you're looking at the here and now, this is what they, they need to be addressing. I'm, I would imagine a lot of customers uh, want to know what's around the corner, what's around the bend that we should be aware of, uh, that we should try to uh, be, be prepared for. What do you what do you tell them? Well, I think you know everybody will say there's just more and more data coming at you. I think um, other analytic techniques like graph analysis is something that people, particularly with social networks, are trying to figure out how are people interrelated to each other. So it's a lot of different use cases, and there's different analytic techniques that can be combined in unique ways. So a lot of our R and D investment is going into how do we bring more of those analytic techniques and unify them for people in one system so that regardless if you're a data scientist or business analyst, you can ask really interesting, tough questions that you couldn't answer, ask before. So it's about giving answers to sometimes the unknown questions and helping them explore that data through unique ways. What would you say are some of the industries that are, um, maybe there's probably more urgency for them to uh, adopt some of these strategies or perhaps just they're more likely to have a, a, a big return on investment. Uh, what industries would you point to? I mean, for us, it's a lot of the traditional industries where you have 
a lot of consumers, right? Telecommunications, retail, retail financial services, anybody who's working with a lot of customers and have a lot of products just have a lot of complexity, a lot of customer interaction touch points. So I think those are the people that typically we see adopting new technology and really thinking about how to better serve their customers. For folks that are watching, tuning in, and uh, they're pretty excited about what you might be able to help them with, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you or, or learn more? You just go to teradata.com and uh, check us out there. That's probably <laughs> the best way to reach us, right? Fantastic. Thanks for your time. Winston Edmondson here with Studio B, signing out.